Hi, this is Tammy. This video and this channel's content is meant for those that are 18 and over. Thank you. Hi everybody, this is Tammy and I'm back with a really quick video to share with you um, a really quick project. So I saw a post by Auntie Cuckoo on Instagram and that's also her YouTube channel name. And she did it a little while ago and she made basically she took an Easter egg and turned it into an acorn. And I thought it was so cute so I definitely wanted to give it a try. I couldn't remember what she used for the top part of it to make it look more like the acorn. But um, recently I was at the Dollar Tree and I found this ornament. They had started putting out their Christmas items. So I think this is supposed to be an acorn too, but um, the other one looks so much better. <laughs> so all these are, are are oval die cuts on corrugated paper. So um, I just have a bunch down here that I put. I bought two of these so that I can make a couple of different eggs or a couple of different acorns. So I um, used one of these. I used one of these Easter eggs that I got from Hobby Lobby for 25 cents um, when they were having their I can't remember um, actually I think it was even less than that because I know no it was a 90% off sale so yeah it was 25 cents for the two of them and then I have this jute twine that I had in my stash that I got from Ross a little while ago and you can see it's a thicker jute twine than what I normally use this is what I normally use. It's like way thinner, but this is thicker and would go further on the Easter on the on the acorn. So here's my finished one, and I think it came out super super pretty. So I just took the egg, I glued it the two halves together. I started at the bottom with hot glue and I wound it all the way around up until about this point right here, and then I just um, pulled off. These come off really easy. You just pull them off like that. And then I hot glued. I didn't use the ones with the white paint on them. Um, I tried to pull up the other ones off that didn't have that. And then I just layered them on. And then I went over with a dry brush and some of this Waverly chalk paint and truffle. Just to give it a little bit more dimension and darken the top part up a little bit. And then on the top I used this ribbon that I got from Marshalls last year. I used... Um, some natural raffia that I've had in my stash but came from the Dollar Tree and I also used one of these Hobby Lobby little sticks I got these last year as well and I'm sure they were half off or 40% off <clears throat> or something and then I just used my um, a pair of jewelry pliers to just snap off a little piece of it because I didn't want the stem to be really big but I did want it to have a stem so this is for the next one and then I just added a little tag that said fall an acorn that came off of this this um, decoration that was on the ornament and then a little resin leaf that I made using um, uh, a mold from Prima so that's how it turned out really really cute definitely if you're having a hard time finding acorns or if you want a cheaper version of making an acorn Get yourself some Easter eggs or pull some out of your stash. Use twine and just cut some circ some um, ovals out of corrugated paper. Or either you could take the paper and um, do some type of embossing on it. And then cut the oval shapes. And then you'll have a really cute little um, acorn. So thank you Auntie Cuckoo for the inspiration. And thank you all for watching. And I hope you're all having a really great day. Bye.